Det stämmer. Då ger vi honom den här. Look what I got. Hey, you did it, pal. Glad I waited till the last minute to file those papers. I'll rip them up and start new ones for you. Thanks, detective. Well, see you in court tomorrow then. Good luck, pal. Hey. You guys feel that earthquake a little while back? I was worried. Worried? We're fine. I've lived out here my whole life. I'm pretty used to them by now. Oh, I wasn't worried about you two. I was worried about Mr. Edgeworth. I'm not thinking about him. Which is good, but it seems like he doesn't really like us. He gets always sick of us. Oh, right. Just that he said that he doesn't really like us. Now, also. He did seem to overreact a little. Now that you mention it. Yeah. Well, I'm not surprised. It was a pretty big earthquake. Big quit. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go check on him. You two go eat and get your rest for tomorrow's trial. Han kanske vet att han är väldigt rädd för jordbävningar eller någonting. Det är kanske därför han, han frågade om hur, hur han mådde. Later! I wonder what it is with Mr. Edgeworth and earthquakes. Ja, precis. Det kommer säkert ha någon koppling. Senare. Ja, men det här händer ju. I wonder. He was never that scared of them when he was in school. Så det hände senare alltså. Någonting hände senare. Then again. I only really got to know him in fourth grade. He transferred to another school after that. I wonder what happened to Edgeworth. Kanske någonting traumatiserande. To be continued. December 26, 9.44 a.m. District Court, Defend Lobby Number 2. Karma? That's right. Manfred von Karma. <laughs> He's the best prosecutor there is. Jag älskar verkligen namnen i det här spelet. He hasn't lost a case in his 40 years year career. He's a god of prosecution. Right. A god. Not a single case? He'll do anything to get a guilty verdict. Anything. Lite grann som dig då. Eller som du var i alla fall. Hmm. Sounds like someone else I know, Edgeworth. <laughs> you don't understand. I mean, he'll really do anything. Manfred von Karma is a man to be feared. That's quite a claim coming from someone who forges evidence. He taught me what it really means to prosecute. What? Just picture a prosecutor a vicious, as vicious as me, multiplied by a factor of 10. Wow. Ja, då kommer det att bli svårt. Ugh. So, so was he your teacher then, Mr. Edgeworth? Something like that. And now he's trying to get you found guilty? What a creep. Oh, wait. Maybe he's planning on losing on purpose to help you out. Nej, jag tror inte det. Not a chance. He hasn't lost once in 40 years. 40 years! He's uh, as ruthless as me. Times 20. Men du sa ju nyss att det bara var 10. That's pretty ruthless. Like I said. He's a god among prosecutors. I guess that's something like Mia was to me. Speaking of Mia. Um, Maya. Uh-huh. We could really be using Mia's help right now. Don't you think? Oh. 
I can't. Sorry. I tried. I really tried. But I couldn't reach. You couldn't reach? I think it's because I haven't been training. My powers are weak again. Oh man. What a bad timing. I'm really sorry. Ah. Vi kan nog lösa det här då. I'll try my best. I hope so. What are you whispering about? Oh, it's nothing. Well, it's time. Let's head in. December 26. 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number three. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. <laughs> um, Mr. Von Karma? Is the prosecution ready? Fool. You seriously think that I would stand here where I'm not completely prepared? R right. My apologies. He's even got the judge scared. Very well. Your opening statement, please. Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Uh, er, uh, nothing of course. That should be fine. The prosecution may call its first witness. What's with this guy? Is he royalty or something? Han ser ut lite grann som det i alla fall. How am I supposed to fight against this? I call the detective in charge of this case, Detective Dick Gumshoe. Okay, Gumshoe's first. Let's see how this goes. Describe the incident now. Yes, sir. Detective Gumshoe looks nervous. Ja. Var inte det förra gången också? Er, uh, please take a look at the map. The murder happened late Christmas Eve, around midnight. There was one boat in the very middle of the lake. Är det bara jag eller... Alltså den där är ju inte i mitten. Av sjön. Ah, yeah. There were two men on the boat. Now, there happened to be a woman camping here on the edge of the lake. At 10, 12, 10, 10 a.m., she heard two pistol shots. Then the boat started to move. It went towards the boat rental shop. And it was there we didn't go last time. Because it was stained. Vi kollade inte igenom någonting där, typ. Hmm. Overhead map added to the court record. Overhead map on of Gort Lake. Testify to the court about the arrest. Now. W wait. Mr. Von Karma. Yes. Actually, I'm the one that's supposed to be handling these proce proceedings. Oh. <laughs> Wrong. There is only one thing you need to do here. You will slam down your gavel and say the word guilty. That is your role. Yes, of course. You're quite right. I uh, it. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> okay. The arrest of Edgeworth. Okay. A man called into the station around 30 minutes after midnight. We headed to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. Now, I didn't suspect him of anything at all. But the next morning, a body was found in the lake. So we had to arrest Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> 